Today, traders are waiting for the Fed meeting results. The regulator will hardly surprise anyone, but the US dollar will gain support. Notably, traders started buying the greenback in advance, not just ahead of the Fed chair's speech. In Europe, traders were selling the euro and the pound sterling amid macroeconomic reports, thus making the US currency even stronger. Of course, analysts had expected a considerable slowdown in the eurozone inflation. However, even the most optimistic ones could not even imagine that consumer price growth would slacken to 2.9% just a month ago. Inflation totaled 4.3%. Notably, the drop in inflation is also accompanied by slower economic growth, which is an alarming sign of the approaching recession. That's why the current state of affairs dispels all doubts about the future auctions of the European Central Bank. It's obvious that the Central Bank will not raise the key rate. Markets may even expect a key rate cut next year. Thus, it's no wonder that the euro tumbled just after the publication of preliminary inf inflation figures. On the trading chart of uh, the euro dollar pair, we see an attempt to develop a bearish trend. However, the direction of the pair changes every day. It's highly possible that today the pair will decline to 1.0526. Tomorrow, there will be a new day with another fundamental data and technical picture, which uh, we will consider in a video review tomorrow. However, analysts are sure that the single currency will continue losing value. However, this time the reason will be the Fed's decision. The US regulator is likely to keep the benchmark rate at the current levels in order to take a pause and monitor the inflation dynamic. Curiously, the consumer price growth in the United States is faster than in Europe. That's why Jerome Powell may again emphasize the possibility of a further rise in the key rate, thus boosting the US dollar even higher. Meanwhile, the pound-dollar pair is less volatile than the euro-dollar pair. It's hovering between the levels of 1.2060 and 1.2206. It's likely to slide to 1.2085 and then to 1.2054. The upward movement is hardly possible, as there are not enough fundamental reasons. That's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading station.